Supporting first responder families that pay the ultimate price. That's what an organization created after 9-11 is doing for the family. A fallen Buffalo firefighter Jason Arno. Channel 2's Rob Hackford joins us now. He's live outside Engine 2 tonight, and that was, of course, Arno's former station. He has more on the story. Rob? Yeah, Scott, the Tunnel the to Towers Foundation has given the Arno family a new place to call home because after having the most important person taken away from them, they say it's the least they can do. Harkening back to when Buffalo firefighter Jason Arno was laid to rest. After this tragic fire on Main Street in Buffalo. We come here to honor the sacrifice of firefighter Jason Arno, who paid the ultimate price on March 1st. On Wednesday, his family was led by Engine 2 once again through the streets of the city he served to a ceremony honoring his life. He made the ultimate sacrifice, and we're here to just make sure he's not forgotten. Touched by Jason Arno's dedication to his family. Most of all, he's remembered as a loving husband and father, putting his family above all else. And his fire department. His story affected us. He was a line of duty fire. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation doing what they've done for thousands of first responder families. Arno's wife, Sarah Tierney. Not only did you give us a home of our own, a place to build a new foundation, but you gave us hope when we had none. You shined some light at the end of a very dark tunnel. Giving keys to a new home, mortgage-free for his wife and daughter, a future free of at least one burden. It just shows people how fragile, you know, people that are in the military, people that are first responders, police fire. You know, you kiss your loved one goodbye, you never know what's going to happen. And to the entire Tunnel to Towers Foundation, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Yeah, friends and family have set up a foundation in Jason's memory as well. They're going to be donating any money raised through that foundation to local first responders buying equipment, as well as set up a scholarship for a high school student who is the son or daughter of a first responder in the region as well. For now, reporting live outside Engine 2 in downtown Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.